you. Big day of harvest. We just pulled into a quarter of beans, 160 acres. We're gonna knock it out today and maybe get to the next one. We gotta fuel the combine, we gotta grease it, and we're getting ready for that. in this truck, holy smokes. Okay, just a little more, right there. Okay. Okay. been stuck behind this guy signaling left for 20 minutes and he ain't even turned yet. Come on, let's go. It's gonna be another windy day. Beans are way less hectic than corn. I actually park at the end of the field and shut the engine off because no one need to put hours on the tractor. He's able to go down and back twice, four passes before we even need a dump. And so yeah, this takes a while. Honestly, I could probably drive across the road, help the neighbor out too. Just run grain cart for both fields. Some farmers even have two combines going on beans just because, you know, the yield is so much different than corn. It's like a third of what corn would normally be. Let's 
Sounds windy out there. to get really hungry so that was some good timing. Got some lasagna. Oh, that lasagna brought me back to life. I was getting sleepy there for a moment. We're getting close to two thirds done with this field. And then, you know, we're kind of getting over the hump. We'll be done with beans in not too many more days. The flag sure is flapping in the wind today. They're talking 40 mile an hour wind gusts. That's, that's quite a bit right there. 500 more pounds. Just gonna trickle it in. We'll end up with just the right amount. 
fill this truck and get Jeff going. Come on, 24,000. Well, it's just going to be a light truck, I guess. 300 pounds. Dang it, you know, not everything's perfect, I guess. Son of a gun, I can't get it. Beside each other like this, you see. And you're going to keep Ooh. them a little bit open. Because this is where you're going to blow in the air. And you blow on the joint. So you How many of you are trying this at home? It's tough. You think you figure it out, but the next time you try it, it's impossible. That job is way more fun than this job. There goes the last full semi load off this field. We just got about one pass left. If I would have known that, I would have been overfilling every truck just a little bit. Just a tickle. I think it still would have been, still would have been legal on the road. Just a little bit more than a thousand bushel. But instead, we had to send that truck, and we'll just put a little bit in the next one. So there is a decent amount of daylight left, but we're gonna get home, fill everything with fuel, and just get prepared for tomorrow.
I've been stabbed many a time from that thing. There you go. No more. It come out the little hole that allows moisture to come out. And it got the, the wires kept shaking out and then they poked. We got the machines home, fueled up, and we'll be harvesting a couple fields right by our house on the same section by the main farm. Before I let you go, I want you guys to check this out. Look at the rye. You can row it, obviously. I drilled that. Today is, yeah, I drilled that eight days ago. Isn't that crazy how fast that grew, popped right out of the ground? And that's gonna be awesome when we're calving and we're putting young pears out here. They're gonna have a little grazing, gonna keep the dust down. Hopefully give them better places to lay. Well, thanks for watching everybody. We'll be wrapping up soybean harvest pretty soon and then it's on to corn. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. You need some help there, bud? Come on, pull, 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 pull. Get your big noggin in there, you gotta get it out. Oh yeah, there you go. Whew.